There's going to be such a long film of the things JD <laughs> says, and then, like that, so what are we saying about Ben's bum? Um, that was properly funny. Yeah. Here we all are, and yeah, I'm really thrilled. I'm really excited. I'm probably ex so excited because I haven't seen them, because I've been living in Tassie for the past four months. So I haven't seen them for a while, so I've probably been so psyched about seeing them. I've kind of completely forgotten the 604 kilometre run we've got to do, but I think it will be fine. Like, as, as with everything we've ever done, if all three of us are there, we make it through somehow. Not necessarily in one piece, but we always make it to the end, so um, I think it'll be really fun, really cool. Well, we're pretty much the southernmost point of Tasmania. It's certainly the bottom of the Great Australian Triathlon, and it's about time to start running. It's a day ahead of schedule, but we're being warned of conditions of lightning, it's really high heat, really strong winds, so it's kind of prime bushfire weather here. So we're keen to get out of here and get somewhere safe. <laughs> right, off we go. So we're currently pacing it as fast as possible back out from South Cape to Cockle Creek. The wind has really picked up um, and there's definitely a storm coming. Now I've lived in Tassie for four months now and I've sat through quite a few big storms and I do not want to be out here when it happens. So we picked up the pace, legged it out to get out a day early, um, but I'd rather be safe. So. We just got to our first campsite, oh well, the end of our technically first day, in reality second day because of the fire conditions yesterday, just tucking into a sandwich because we're knacked. Uh, we're, we've just uh, just run about 15 miles, something like that. Um, yeah, I think we're all feeling pretty pleased with ourselves. Um, it's one day down, 18 to go. Yeah. People see smoke, you're like, oh, uh, I'm going to start freezing Thank you very much. And there's that. Three, two, one, go. Get to the point where we're going to go. You know, we uh, line up like a race. Okay. Yeah. 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 I'm fertilizing something, God knows what. <laughs> this is in the making of documentary. <laughs> oh, Jesus, JD. Don't fall in. There we go. Whoa! Yeah! Sick one! After a pretty brutal morning of just uphill on tracks and sort of uh, graded road. We've been rewarded by this beautiful, lush forest up here and a much more interesting track to run along. Damn it. Uh, come on. Uh, uh, uh. <sighs> Hello. Well, <laughs> all those trees have just been pushing through didn't need to come down here. Turns out I missed, either I missed a turning or I took a, the wrong turning, I don't really know. It, it seems that at the end of here, it intercepts a road, Oigles Road, whatever. 
um, and it does meet up with the trail again further down. So we're just gonna, I'm just gonna push on, try and get on that and try and get to them as fast as possible. It's been a frustrating day. So literally 20 meters down the trail, I get to this monstrosity and just beyond, looks like it's completely blocked. So I gotta face a 1.52k slog back up the hill, up and over all them fallen trees, classic. JD, quite a way back, got a bit lost, went the wrong way. So uh, the girls are continuing on ahead to try and get down to Jeeveston and hopefully get us some food and this sort of thing. I'm going back to try and find JD. So I've heard from him and he's, he's all right and everything and he's hopefully on track now. But as you can see, there's going to be some bits which are going to be a bit tricky to get a bike through. So um, look at that, fire damage and then boom. So anyway. Pride of the trace and trail was his. And sick unto death, he could not bear that another dog should do his work. I located JD, which is good, he's doing well. He's coming through this beautiful area of forest. <laughs> oh my god, what is that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, hi guys. How do you remember me from such films as this? Actually, I don't think I'm tired so much as my feet hurt. This is great. Far more fun than running, Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, maybe the best person I've ever met in my life. How you doing, mate? Oh my god, thank you, man. Thank you. Welcome. Absolute hero. <laughs> yeah, you just helped me push the bike like three kilometers at least. Oh, amazing. Oh. What an absolute champion. Absolute hero, yeah. yeah, it's nice. going to be easy now, huh? Yeah. You got the downhill now. <laughs> Um, the mood in the camp's kind of pretty low today. Um, what do you what do you think's kind of leading to that at the moment? So Claire's really struggling with chest pains for a couple of days now, but it's definitely got a lot worse this morning. Um, she's keen to run and this sort of thing, but struggling to breathe. Um, obviously Claire's got asthma as well, so that is definitely making life more difficult. So. We're just in the town of New Norfolk. Emma and Claire have just gone off to a pharmacy. It's just opened it. And um, we're going to see what the pharmacist says. So, and, and you know, if we have to, we'll, we'll um, you know, go and find a doctor or something. So we've got to get this sorted out. Basically, as, as I'm sure you said with Andy, Andy's going to come and take you to the Royal Home Up. And uh, we're going to find out what's going on. It feels like, like I'm choosing, but I think you're better off going on because, like, if they if to say like you need a day's rest and then I have to take another day out, then I don't know. They don't have to spare days. I know, I know, but like um we kind of need them at home. I mean but they're in hand for things like this. Exactly. So yeah. I mean what we what we can do is we go back to Lockton for today and wait to see what happens. They might say, Oh actually, you know, we'll give you this medication or whatever and they'll be good to go, in which case we're starting again from the same point. If they say, right, you need a day or two of rest or whatever, then it may be at that point, just depending on what you want to do, maybe at that point we say, okay, well, we'll start working again. But that way it gives, it gives you the chance to potentially still do the whole thing if they say you're okay. Well,